Yeah, that's interesting one. Why are the keys always to not panic? My research lab is called the Cardiovascular Health and Autonomic Regulation Lab. So we focus on understanding how autonomic mechanisms, so your sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight nervous system, how that um, and your blood vessels and your heart act to control cardiovascular health um, in humans. Over the years, there's been a lot of research, and when I say over the years, I mean over the past 100 years, uh, aimed at understanding cardiovascular regulation and cardiovascular health in men. And we know actually surprisingly little about how cardiovascular regulation works in women. There's not a lot of labs in the world that study what we study. We are, as far as I know, one of two labs in Quebec that do microneurography to record sympathetic nerve activities. We can put a very small recording electrode, we can nestle it right up against your sympathetic neurons and watch in real time as those neurons fire. I really encourage my students to talk to me about what they want to get out of the grad degree and creating a safe space for them to be honest with what they want to accomplish. Right now in my lab, I have one student who knows that they want to continue on and become a professor one day. I have several students who want to go to medical school after they're done. I have one who wants to go into industry, um, one who is interested in um, science communication. So I think once I understand what they want to get out of their degree, it helps me to tailor their experience. If I'm constantly treating them like someone who has the same goals and dreams than I do, I think I'm really gonna miss the mark and they're gonna be unmotivated. Our department actually has funding packages for all of our incoming grad students, so there is guaranteed funding when you come into the department. The other job of any PI, including me, is to seek out grant funding. So I support uh, my grad students anywhere from 0% if they get a scholarship and then they rely uh, on the scholarship to 100% based on grant funding. I don't know if I would call enthusiasm and interest a skill, but that's what I look for. <laughs> I, uh, when I have a, a meeting with a prospective student, I'm looking to see their eyes light up when they talk about the research that we do. I always tell my students, if you want to go home and you know, like eat nachos and drink wine, which is what I do when I have a bad day in the lab, that's fine, you can leave. What you need to do is you need to get up the next morning and come back in and be like, okay, let's figure out what went wrong, let's address this problem and keep moving forward. <laughs>